This is your sign to get the Sims 4 Horse Ranch so you can put this pastel but tasteful build in your own game. Hello my beautiful buddies. Thank you to EA Creator Network for providing me a game code for me to make content for you guys as well as give away. I am going to be splitting up this video in a couple of different parts so stay tuned for the giveaway rules. Here is my beautiful build. Though so a lot of these things are new from the pack like these shutters, these windows, these walls. A lot of these beautiful doors, this archway, can we talk about this archway? And like this gnome stuff. I did put some fun details with debug mode, like I made a, this little kid like lemonade stand, even though this is technically like supposed to be for like the Finchwick Fair. I just thought it was really cute, it's purely de decorational. As well as like a truck with the oranges, I just wanted to make it feel alive, you got, you know? Like rockering, rocking chair and like this chair over here, all new bike I believe is new as well a lot of just beautiful beautiful items and if we go into the backyard so this is gonna be my barn that I have for this pack and then we have a little undercover area for the plants this will become like the nectary or whatever I obviously just put a bunch of stuff down I'm not done obviously with the build because I'm going to be doing it later with you guys and then here is the horsey ranch. I wasn't sure what kind of flooring I should use, so I just put down like some concrete and hope for the best. And then we have a little orchard as well with the chickens. This is where the cottage living comes in. And then like a sandbox for the kids. Gotta have a little fire pit. And then this cute, cute, cute like little dog house. I just thought this was cute. Maybe your mini sheep will use it as well, mini goat. I don't know, I haven't tested it, but I just thought it was really cute. And then if we go inside, I'm thinking that this is going to be the entryway, bathroom, two bedrooms, small kitchen and dining room, living room, bathroom, kids room. <laughs> and that's what the build will be. So I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys on the speed build portion and where I will explain the rules if you guys would like a code to receive Horse Ranch. Okay, the part you've all been waiting for, the giveaway and how to enter. So I am giving away the Sims 4 Horse Ranch for PC, so this is for PC people. I'm going to have you guys do this really simply. You guys are just going to hit the subscribe button down below, you're going to like this video, and then you guys are going to comment what types of videos that you like to see from me or just Sims videos in general, and then when the video is over, and only when the video is over, you guys are going to go ahead and head to the Gleam link down below. And it will give you an option to view my channel, and when you click on that, make sure you are subscribed. And then I'll have a few other options. Twitter, like if you follow me on Twitter, if you retweet the video, this video in particular, and that helps me out a lot because then more people will see it, and more people have a chance to you know so too i just like seeing your guys's faces i do have some other ones too like my tumblr my threads my instagram and if they're not on there you guys can always follow me on there i like seeing your guys's faces and i hope you guys all um, have a good chance of winning this make sure you use a it takes care of that it just tells me your email address so that's the way i'm going to be doing it this time and i will have the dates of how long this will be running in a comment down below Good luck to everybody, the pros and cons of this pack, so even if you don't win, you can hear some of the good things and bad things about this pack. And personally, I like waiting until the pack has been out a little bit until I do this. I know a lot of people from the EA Creator Network do it like as soon as the pack comes out, and the pros are going to be first. So the pros of this pack, the horses are really beautiful, they're animated really beautiful, like they act like real horses is what I mean. As far as I know, I, of course, I don't know because I haven't been around horses, but they just seem like they do. And then the saddles look really nice and the little blankies for their back. I know I'm using like real great <laughs> vocabulary. I don't really know these terms, forgive me, but they look really nice, bottom line. I do like the fact that horses have three skills. They have the endurance, they have the barrels and the, the jumping, which is nice because they could have easily just made that one skill and just had your horses learn that one skill but it's nice that there's multiple i do like the mini goats the mini sheep they are really cute 
They are reminiscent of the rabbits that help your garden in cottage living. And then also, I really, really, really love nectar making. The nectar making in particular is something I was excited about. It's returned from older Sims games and your Sims could actually make a lot of money on that. The skill is a little bit slower to learn, but there is only like five levels, so I don't really mind that. And your Sims can sell it for a lot of money, it's fun. And personally for me, I feel like that's a skill that my Sims would use more than the horse racing, like different than me, but that's just me. So I was kind of really excited for that even more than I was excited for the horses in general. And as far as the furniture goes, classic furniture that you'd expect on the farm. The things, stables look really, really nice. As far as the furniture goes, one of my favorite pieces is the beds that have like a little, has like a cascading bedspread. That's one of my favorite pieces that came here. And I also really like the couch. The couch has leather swatches and they have swatches that don't look like leather, which is nice because I think it just gives it a little bit more variety. They do have new counters. The counters I like, but I feel like we've gotten so many, so many counters that look very rustic. I'm looking for something more sleek and modern, hopefully in the future, just because I feel like we've gotten a lot of those. So hopefully we see more of those. The kids have this really cute like barn dollhouse, super adorable. And everything just is super cute. I think it goes well with cottage living if you guys have that pack. And now I kind of want to talk about the cons of this pack fact that it is very glitchy. Now, glitches are something they can always fix, but I think if it's a horse pack, then the horses should act well. Because currently, people are saying that their horses have like really weird animations where they get up on their hind legs and they look like they're people almost. And then there's certain lots that your horses just will not come back home. The ranch hands don't work properly if you have the competition sign on your lot for whatever reason so those things definitely need to get fixed and those were probably i would say are the biggest cons as of now one thing that isn't necessarily a con but i i personally just feel like this pack is incomplete unless you have cottage living and vice versa so i think they go together hand in hand almost that if you wanted to have like a proper ranch it almost seems incomplete without like the chickens and the cows too so i almost feel like you need both of them however if i were to only have bought, bought one of them and i would definitely pick the horse ranch just because i feel like there's more gameplay than cottage living but again i feel like they go hand in hand gameplay as far as I'm concerned that I'm more of like a family player. I don't feel like I would use this as much. I don't really play farms as much so I feel like this is a pack I would personally get used less but with that said I do feel this is a fun pack and would I use it? Yes but I probably just wouldn't use it as much as something like growing together. And I'm just giving you guys advice that if you guys are looking to buy a new pack or if you guys have bought a new pack and you just kind of like to see you know what other people have to say that that's my opinion if you guys are like waiting i guess until see if you win those are just kind of like a heads up of opinion and i guess i want to move on to something kind of funny so i'm gonna break this up a bit as a review and tell you guys a really funny story time and this is a story time about me when i was a little kid so when i was younger in the fall time and this is appropriate because now it is now like fall or almost fall i guess i should say we're just kind of like coming off of summer there's these like pumpkin patches and these farms and they would have these hay rides and you could pick pumpkins and it was just cute stuff you know for families to do when i was little there were these like horses that were on these like metal they were connected to this metal thing that you, they would go around but they were like live horses and little kids could like ride them and I was a little kid at the time so I go and I go and ride the horse my parents are standing in front just watching as the parents do and when it is over I'm getting off of the horse okay and I am walking and this horse just starts peeing a mile a minute. So much for poor little me to be traumatized. I, yes, I am traumatized because this horse is just splashing everywhere. It's gross. And of course, I'm a little kid, so I do have enough sense to step back, but that still doesn't help the fact that it was very traumatizing because, like, this horse is 
its butt is probably like face height to you and it's just it's just doing this it was just horrible and horrifying so that's like why i'm a little traumatized by horses fun fact and it was just funny because everyone in the audience was like looking and i was like mom mom this horse is peeing and everyone thinks it's funny but it was honestly a traumatic Hello, but yeah that's darkness, my funny my story friend. time and I, let me know if you guys like story times like this. There are some pretty like dramatic story times that people say on Reddit. And it's funny because I will like have like a video that pops up on like TikTok or Instagram or sometimes. And it will be always someone like building in a different game like minecraft or something something that like is not like my primary primary thing that i play but i've never seen anyone in the sims do this idea so i feel like it's a great idea and if anyone does it from this moment on they got the idea for me i'm calling it out <laughs> because they'll like read these like crazy reddit stories and they'll just have their build going in the background and i always thought that was a good idea so if any of you guys like story times let me know if you guys think that's a great idea oftentimes that people will just like say these absolutely ridiculous things and sometimes they'll be funny and sometimes they'll be like wow i can't believe they did that <laughs> okay i guess the next thing that i want to talk about and we should move on to is the build and my inspiration for this build so this build that I am currently doing. I actually got the idea from it just because I wanted to kind of hybrid the idea of a cottage and a ranch together. So if you guys liked both packs, Cottage Living and Horse Ranch, that you guys could see some inspiration for both of them and I just think it was nice. So I put the like the chickens in the corner but then we also have the stables and in my mind that there was a dad that was into the nectar making and then there was a wife that was into like the actual horse ranch and that's why some of the things are pink. I thought that was just a cute idea. I also got this amazing idea in the kids room that it looks like it's outside but it's one room and it's inside so what i mean by that is that the walls are like stone on one side but then the other side it looks like it's a sky and then where the actual bed is it looks like a little house and i just thought that was so cute because i've seen some other people on other like social media platforms that they like made like little playhouses for their kids and i just thought it was so cute and i've never tried it before and i'm so happy with the way it came out because i can't think of a like a more perfect place to do this to like build a cottage within a cottage essentially than this one so it's super cute this house gives off the vibe i, I want to say it's like a cottage ranch but it's kind of like more of a modern cottage ranch like modern farmhouse kind of vibes i get from it and i hope you guys like this too because i did put like a lot of detail in it especially in like the stable <laughs> there is this little corner that i did put like a bathroom that's not really a bathroom and i just have the idea of just like you know like the dad in this is really crafty and he just makes a bunch of like woodworking things and that's why it's there and i just think like you could just see like the whole family like on this lot and i kind of wanted to bring that vision there's a cute little sand pit out back there's just a lot of things to do so you guys could pick this up on my gallery page i believe i'm the rosebud simmer on the gallery and yeah i just think it'll be fun a little idea for you and i guess i want to talk about i guess future upcoming builds that i have in the works so if you guys are new to the channel i do a save file. I have a save file and I have done Pleasant View and I've done Strange Town. I'm currently working on Veronaville. And now I've done the other two worlds, Pleasant View and Strange Town, completely on the channel. But I'm doing kind of Veronaville under undercover a little bit on my own time. And I was just gonna do videos afterwards after it was finished and show you guys just because I've noticed some like lack of interest, I guess for me always building and me always doing the same thing so i kind of did that on purpose but it is under wraps i would say i'm 75 percent done with it i'm done with all the builds at least i'm working on the families slowly and surely and i've just kind of taken a little break by this just because i noticed that like my channel 
as far as actual content was lacking but I do have to say that I haven't given up on this just because I've started to do other videos I wanted to make that very clear um, but I just wanted to say this as a side note before I say that other videos I have in mind and in the works one video I am actually super excited to tell you guys about I have barely started it so I don't know when it will come out or if I'll just upload it to the gallery or what's gonna go on with it but I have started to make the house summer I turned there is a nice blend of like modern farmhouse pretty so if you guys don't watch that you might just be a fun pretty build for you to watch but if you do watch it you guys can look up look out for that sometime on my channel because I have started to build it and I think it's actually turning out really good and I'm excited to go forth with it I also just have a lot of ideas in general for different helpful videos that you guys can see I don't know if I'll, um, when I'll get back to you vlogging I know I will at some point but I don't know you guys feel like vlogging is fun but I always feel like I have to have something to do with the vlogging um, and anyway as you can see here we're towards the end of the video with all of the screenshots and all of you know the little good things that we went over today let me know if you guys like this build and if you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave that comment down below about what videos you like to see and good luck to all of you please follow me on my social media down below if you haven't already whether you're entering or not i like to see all of your great faces there and i will see you soon Bye 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 I don't wanna let you down It's the only thing I think about every morning You know my life ain't figured out But I promise if you stick around it'll never get boring We'll spend nights cheap red wine Look at flats even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now Will you stay? Even when you wanna walk away When times get bad We can learn to love what we have I don't wanna let you down In my life without you would be boring And we'll spend nights Cheap red wine Look at flats even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now